Just receive him today. His strength is made perfect in your weakness. His grace is sufficient for you.
right where you're standing and if you're joining us online the same Holy Spirit that's here with us is with you at home too you know the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 8 to verse 11 it says then your light shall break forth like the morning your healing shall spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you the glory of the Lord shall be your real God. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry and He will say, Here I am. You shall cry and He will say, Here I am. Church, this afternoon, the presence of God is all over this place. You know, His light is shining through in our lives. His righteousness is going before us. His healing speedily springing forth. He is our real God. He hears our prayers and He will answer. Therefore, church, do not remember, do not remember the former things, nor the things of old. Behold, God will do a new thing. Behold, God will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? He will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. That's right. If you believe that, let's give the Lord a big hand here in this place. Hallelujah. He is a God of new things. A God of new things. You know, we thank God for all that God has brought us through. But let us not confine. Let us God not confine Him to the past of all that He has done. And perhaps even our own past failures. You know, the Bible tells us His mercies are new every morning. So today, let's make room for Him. Let's embrace the new that God has prepared for us in our family, in our marriages, in our health, in our jobs, in our businesses, in our church. Something new is springing forth. There is a new freedom in the air. There is a new love, a new joy, a new peace. Because Jesus, He has come to make all things new. Jesus comes and He makes all things new. Wherever you are, why don't we just begin to lift up our hands. Let's just begin to just release our prayer language this afternoon. That's why let's pray strong in the Spirit this afternoon. 